So today in the shop, our goal was to swap out the rear wheel. We have two sets of wheels for the Ninja. We have a set that's painted green that matches the bike. We have a black set with a green stripe. Now, it, it starts out being very simple. Yeah, and you think, uh, well, you could do this in a half an hour. Well, it gets a little more complicated than that. And I did try to show from, this is before we evil twinned out the bike. I did try to show some of the, tried not to leave out any steps or some of the tips that make this easier for everybody to do, including removing the caliper, grease in the bushings, among other things. I just think there's a lot of good information. And a lot of people, when they get to do the, the first time they change the front wheel out or the back wheel, it looks like it's a very simple thing when somebody else does it. When you go to do it, you find out, oh, and it's a little dull, oh, yeah, and it'd be nice if they showed you how to do this ahead of time. Well, we're going to try not to leave out any steps. It's a simple rim. So before we do anything with motorcycles today, the bride has told me we have a big harvest. I, we have a special bucket to put the stuff in, and I'm so excited. We've been eating vegetables. I'm turning into a, a, a cucumber or something here. Anyway, it is so exciting when you get your first veggies out of the garden. So what farm chores do you need me to do before I... Oh my God, look how big these things are getting. There's, there's a zucchini in here that I can't get out. Look at her garden. Wow. The rain. We've had a lot of rain lately too. Okay, I don't even... There it is. The zucchini is down there. Wow. It, Steve, they hide. See if you can get it out for me. I'll get it out. So there's actually two. This one's coming out, but there's a little one growing there. Oh, there's another one under here. The there's one three. Up. Yeah. You got three right in that one. Right in one plant. Look at the size of these guys. Look at that. How many more you got in there? One, two, Holy three, mackerel. Four, five or six. And here we got a cucumber. Oh. <laughs> we got to go in business. Maybe I could trade these in at Motorcycle Mall for a Ninja 400. <laughs> See which other ones I missed. No, I don't think you missed any. There's a big cucumber down here. Look at this one. Man, I need the scissors to break them off. Oh, here he is. Oh, that's a nice wow. one. Wow. Wow. So we got a nice little harvest. We even got some little jalapenos. These were good. We put them in an Indian food the other night. Some cucumbers, some eggplants. Uh, we sh now if we could only find that fountain of youth. So for the third time today, my plants have changed. It started out, I was wondering if it might be a riding day. We're, we're definitely gonna get some more rain. We've had rain every day, on and off and on and off. Oh my God, it's terrible. So I, I don't even know how to plan around it anymore but what's going to happen Karen wants to do her errands first thing in the morning when I get back probably there won't be enough time for a ride but while I do have the wheel I can swap the wheel out onto the 750 get the new tire on that'll allow us to just have a lot more fun when you have new tires on a bike it changes into a new bike yeah we got it all mounted up and balanced and ready to go and then we'll have the, for that time now, we'll have the black wheels on a bike. We'll burn up the tires on that. And while we're, before we do anything else, we go to swap tires again. We'll put the green wheels back on. What's nice about having spare wheels, what's nice about having a spare bike. But we got errands to do. I don't want to get them over with. I actually had a couple people tell me they like the way it looks with two different color wheels. But I kind of like it when they match. So that'll be a, tentatively our project for today once we get done with errands. And it's kind of like what I like about the lifestyle Karen and I have uh, come up with. Because every day is unpredictable and different and busy. And every day that goes by, it's uncanny. The plans that we had at 7 this morning turned into 8 o'clock, turned into now, turned into something else. And they may change before the day's over. I'm waiting to hear from Luciano. He's been uh, been pretty psyched up about going for a ride. He hasn't ridden for a while, so... We're going to see how it all plays out very soon. And before we head out, there's one thing that's really important. Having an extra cup of coffee. So you gave some to Chris next door, and you're going to give some to Stacy, and we have, a, we have enough now. We can support a, a small colony. Okay, birds, it's time to eat. What happened? You dropped something? Drop the cucumbers. <laughs> now, I remember when I first uh, restored the bike, I used to like the look of having the lower fairing missing so I could see the polished pipes. The silver wheels, I mean, over the years, this bike has evolved. It has been a really, a really fun bike to have. So it's time to go shopping before the big rain comes. What time's the rain do at three? Five. Five.
So we're headed out to do our errands before we do that tire swap and get back. Look, well, the sky's getting black already. Hey, hey, hey. Well, once all our errands are done and we do have to do some grocery shopping too, boy oh boy. The sun came out, but I still want to get that wheel changed today. Yeah, it just can't be more fun than shopping with more vegetables. What are we buying here, baby? More vegetables. To get cookie mix, you know, we ate all those cookies the other day. <laughs> cookies! Well, errands are done, and we're ready to get back home to the farm and change that wheel. Oh, the sun is still out. Time to go to work and get that wheel changed. And before we go do the wheel, Karen wanted to harvest some fresh lettuce for supper. Every day I love having this farm. You're such a farm girl. Just like with every project in this garage, step one is to be a parking lot attendant. Move some bikes around so we have some working room to pull that wheel. So this is one of the bikes that does not have axle spools. Makes it a little inconvenient having to use the Harbor Freight jack, but it still works. This is one of the bikes you have to hold the other side of the axle at some point in time. Looks like we're lucky now here. There we go. When you actually do the tightening, there we go. I do have to hold it. Okay, so that loosens up the back axle. We're ready to pull the axle out. Now you might remember we got this set last time we had to work on the front axle. These, this is a really, really handy thing to have, and we're going to use it right now. Now I always like to get rid of the caliper right away. I don't want to have the caliper in the way while I'm working on this. Just makes it easier. Anything I can do to make these jobs easier. This tool really does work well. I'm really happy. The problem is I got these all Loctited in, of course. And I really am too lazy to look for the ratchet. That's the problem. It's funny, when I watch this and fast forward, I don't know. And once the caliper's off, I can just zip tie it up here, or there's usually some way I can wedge it in there. But to have that out of the way makes it a little bit easier. Okay, the next step, once this is off, just pull the axle out. Throw the axle out, we want to get rid of those. Get the wheel as far forward as I can. Pull the chain off. The whole trick here is to get it as far forward as you can. Okay, chain's off. Spacer comes out. This is going to come out right now. Spacer's off on the other side. And when you have that extra set of wheels, boy, does it make a job like this go quickly. Because right now, normally I would have to flip the tire. Well, I got the tire flipped on a, a no-riding day, so ready to install that. Just want to mention this is one of the tricky things that there's a little bushing inside the carrier that holds that it's not a really a bushing there's a spacer and a bushing a spacer and a bearing and be real careful if that comes out not to put it in backwards it has a cone shape on one side and flat on the other side now before I put any ports back I always like to clean them as much as possible in this case this is really a no-brainer, it's a lot easier to clean it now than once it's put back together. Now what is a big help on putting some of the spacers back is if they keep sliding out, in this case they're going to fall out that way. A little bit of wheel bearing grease around it, just a little bit, not enough that it oozes out on a disc. That'll usually hold it in place while you're tightening it up. And again, it doesn't take much to hold it in place. And that should stay there. And we'll do the same thing to the other side, of course. And in place. Because the next thing, we, before we do this, we got to get the chain on. I try to get everything pretty much lined up before I put, push the axle through. Now just to make this a little bit easier, if you back this out, so you have, you be, you're able to move this side forward. Of course, we're going to readjust the chain. Now, what that's going to allow us to do is just tap this forward. 
just make it easier when we tap that axle in all the way. It'll line up a little bit easier. Okay, now we've got that all the way through. Now because we loosen this side, the other side stays the same. I just need to bring this out until the two marks line up again. And I've got the right tension on the chain. So I'll make this just hand tight for now. Back it off. Now I can still move this. I can bring this back to where it was. And that's a good trick, getting that, that to slide forward. Just makes it a little bit easier. Makes it a lot easier. All right, so the last thing is just to adjust this and then check that our alignment marks are okay. And we'll clean and loop the chain, of course. Okay, so this is gonna go. Now once I get the axle snugged up, I wanna make sure, even after I do the final tightening on the axle, that I have the right mark on the chain adjustment and it's not too tight. Now before I super tighten this up, I wanna get, make sure I line up the hole for the cotter pin. Make sure I have, well, we got the chain adjusted the way I want, and we're even on the marks, and we're ready to put the caliper back on. Okay, we can get rid of zip ties now on this. Pull this around. A lot of times you have to spread the pucks. Let's see how much material we have in there. So did you come to help me or just criticize my lack of work ethic? Criticize. You got fingerprints on the bike. Now you're going to have to wax the whole bike. <laughs> Hey, mommy's here too. Let's go in and have a snack. Come on. So nice. Oh my God! Look at this guy go. Okay. Is that your bike? They're all mine. That used to be your daddy's bike. They're all mine. That used to be your daddy's bike. Look at that go! Wow. Wow. I love when you come over to see me and help me. Now I want you to do some of the dirty work, okay? And I'll just sit and watch. How's that plan going? Not that good, right? Always, I always enjoy having a visit. They come and help me. And now it's back to work. Now we're almost done here. So once the calipers are tight, we're pretty much ready to just make sure the chain is adjusted the way it should be. Everything in the holds the caliper on is locked tight. Chain is right where it should be. We got a brand new tire, and I love these Sport Demons on this particular bike. I've had other tires. I've had Bridgestones and whatnot, but. I've tried other tires and not liked them at all. I think I even had a set of Dunlops on here. But these tires, the only downside is they are soft tires and they, they're not touring tires. So you don't get a 100,000 mile warranty with them. But they do grip nice and they handle nice on this bike. So the job is basically done and there's just a couple little things worth mentioning. And I've of course found every one of these things out the hard way, but I thought I'd pass them on. The spacers on this particular bike and this era of bike are not the same. They're not interchangeable. Number two, they have to go in exactly the way they came out. The one on the other side has the two ridges facing in, and this one, the, the, it's the opposite. This one faces the bearing. The small side faces the bearing, and on the other one, the big side faces the bearing. And if, if you put them in wrong and you tighten the axle, what will happen is, it's pretty obvious the bearing's not going to turn and you'll just have to reverse it, but it's nice if you can know that before you actually do the job and to save yourself some head, some headaches, some work. Anyway, we're ready to get out on the open road when it's his turn in the, uh, the batting order. And I just wanted to clean this up. As long as I got it up here, I'll lube the chain. I always like to do any kind of maintenance like this while I have it up just makes it a little bit easier for me. So anytime I'm doing this kind of work I like to get the chain as clean as possible. It's clean, the dirt doesn't go down into the links, it just just common sense. While you have the bike up on a, up on a jack like this, real easy to clean that grit right off. And it's just me, I know, not everybody agrees with these things. Anyway, it was nice having Miles come over today. I, I always have enjoy these visits. Ordinary diesel fuel and an old microfiber. And if you keep it clean, it tends to stay clean. Once you let it get to turn into a rust bucket, it isn't even fun cleaning it then. I'm not sure it's as much fun now, but anyway, we did get it adjusted. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. So 
So again, I hope I haven't left out any steps. This is a relatively simple job, but knowing how to deal with those spacers, and it's always really important when you're doing any wheel to put the spacers on the side they came, on, came out on. And if it has a flange on one side or the other, keep track of it in your mind, or even better take pictures or whatever as if you're a backyard mechanic like I am. But changing tires out, this, this bike, the next time I ride it, will handle like a new bike. It's amazing what a fresh set of tires will do for handling of any bike. It doesn't matter what bike it is. So this is one project in the bank, and I'm always happy when a project like this goes well. We're done, and a new tire changes the way the bike is just going to handle for the next I don't know, hopefully 5,000 miles. We'll see. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy the video, and thanks so much for watching. This bike represents a, a unique little part of my collection, and I love having a spare bike. I love having spare wheels. I've tried all different tires. For me, the Pirelli Sport Demons seem to be the best, the best compromise. And I've tried, I'm going to guess, three or four different mufflers on a bike. I finally arrived at one that I really like. And again, thank you, Luciano, for that. And we try to ride the bike in such a way that it's fun to ride. And we're preserving a little piece of motorcycle in history. This is a historically registered bike. I try to maintain it, clean it, and keep it in the best condition I possibly can. Now, the total restoration of this bike, the paintwork, the wheels, all the modifications, the mufflers, every single part of it, the tire changes, the tire testing, it's all on our previous previous videos on our channel. There are now, I think, about 2,300. I don't even update the title anymore because we're, we're way over 2,000 on this channel. And we get such good feedback on these videos, so I tend to try to put one out as often as possible almost every day very close to almost every day but we do share the rides big part of owning a bike any bike or a collection of bikes old new modern three cylinder four cylinder <laughs> no matter what motorcycle you ride and how you ride it and who you hang around with uh, doesn't matter we could we could still be friends and this bike in particular is really a ton of fun to ride I never regret one minute at a time I worked on it. It's been a blast. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we post every day. We'll see you tomorrow.